What is up everyone? Today we are going to be analyzing Abadongo's Pikachu. Uh, he has uh, asked me, well I've, I offered to analyze some of his stuff and he's been doing well but not as well as he wants to so I'm going to be looking at his Pikachu and hopefully helping him out in terms of helping him be better. Because of course I being the premier Pikachu I have a lot of insight on this character and sometimes it's hard to tell what to do if you're not super used to him so I want to help and I want to help him get better because Abadongo, one of my favorite Japanese players, and I love that, and I want to just help the Pikachus in general. So let's go. So this is obviously just a hard matchup in general. Like, I have struggled with the buzz a lot. Okay, good. We're landing behind, correct. Quick attack is so good in this matchup. It can also, you can obviously fall into the pitfall of just like, I'm quick attacking too much. So like, that makes sense. Yeah, like, it's hard to get the hits. Oh, jeez. And he hasn't gotten, like, any openings yet. Because I feel like this matchup's a lot of, like, fair. And yeah, that happens a lot. The, the stupid back air. That, like, just drops. He's getting destroyed. Olimar's kind of a weird character to critique against, because it's just like, ah, you were wrong, and you're in the mix-ups, and you guessed wrong. Like, I feel like there's not a lot of, like, objectively wrong things he's doing. He's just getting, like, outplayed at the moment. And yeah, I go for that Thunder too, so I, I understand him doing this, but this is a bad Thunder. You should just be going to ledge and then trying to down air. You should mostly be down airing, uh, Olimar. Like, I've never played Shuton, so I can't even critique, like, oh, well, against Shuton, I did blank. Like, I don't know if I've even played him in a money match. Yeah, like, in this matchup, honestly, like, landing fair is very good. Maybe not landing, but, like, also short hop fair to catch some of the approaches. Like, I definitely think this is a Palutena matchup, because he still obviously plays Palu. And that's the Thunder, yeah, and that's untackable, he's dead. See, that, when when the Olimar is going high, and you know they're going high, like, very high, that's when you can Thunder, but if you're, like, farther out here, it's not as good, because there's too much variability for Olimar's recovery. Why'd they buff this character? Yeah, that makes sense. He was dead by doing that Thunder. That's it's something you gotta look out for. If, if someone's, like, right at the ledge, and you do that Thunder, they can technically punish you most of the time. Oh. Missed that. Uh, didn't think he was gonna hit the first dash tag. Yeah, also just random dash tags are really good in this matchup. But also they can of course be punished. Like, to the people that think that, uh, like, I th that think Olimar beats Pika slightly, I think that's like a fair analysis. Like, I don't, I don't agree, but I don't, like, it's not such a strong opinion because I'm just like, one of those things, I'm just like, oh, well, Pikachu's advantage state is so important. Oh, that could have been maybe death, actually? Because it could have been up air, forward air. At 70, might have killed. But down throw fair is still fine. I think he's going out a little too early. Like, he should be waiting for, like... Hold on. Let me just... He should be waiting for, like, here to jump out. Because then he's above Olimar, which is good. You have, like, at being at the same height, if he up -bees and you don't immediately double jump, you're going to miss. So you want Olimar to be a little lower than you when you're going for the jump. Even if it's a short hop. Because that way you're going to be above Olimar, and you can do like fast fall fares and stuff, and if they up you have time to like double jump and downer, or double jump and forward or something. Nice DI. Nice T-Jolt. Fun. Fair. Yes! That was good! That was great! That was a super good edge guard. You could have fared like maybe one earlier. Like you could have, with this T-Jolt that you used... I'm speaking like to Abadongo, so I apologize if I'm saying like you. But with this T-Jolt, that T-Jolt, you could have uh just run, run T-Jolt and then just fair and it would have comboed. Like, he hasn't gotten an opening at low percents that would, like, actually be a combo, so I can't even, like, critique his combo routes. He's just playing neutral. Oh, he didn't fastball this fair? Okay, so when you're doing fairs, Abadongo, you can always fastball them and still get the auto-cancel. It helps with your combos tremendously, because you at least should have got another fair there. Double down tilt dash tag does work. It's just, I'm I'm really bad at it, so it's it's just hard. Oh, uh, nice. What percent was he at? Yeah, 100. That was just really good. That was so far. But anytime you're doing a fair in neutral or an advantage, you should be doing that fast fall to just, like, a short hop fair at least. It just makes you more plus. Or or, or safer uh, on shield. Like, that's how the fair is, like, minus five, minus four, is doing the really, really good uh, fast falls. Oh, beautiful read by the Olimar. I assume it's Shuton. And yeah, one of the things here, it's something that it's, it's not easy, but if you do this... Uh, like up B and then go up for this. If you're gonna get two framed by like a Palutena down tilt or an Olimar down tilt joker, whatever, you can go up and then hold out. 
So like maybe go a little lower and then do it because then you'll DI out, which is definitely it definitely helps for the getting hit afterwards scenario. Also, one thing I'm noticing, you're not doing forward smash at the ledge. Forward smash at the ledge is kind of busted. It covers like everything. Um like in this situation, just forward smash here covers neutral getup. It can cover jump. Obviously, it doesn't cover getup attack unless they unless you like read it and then hold your back there. Uh, and it can cover roll, and it also can cover ledge hop. So forward smash is honestly really, really good. It's a hard read, and I know honestly a lot of, uh, like just from noticing, just from watching a lot of Japanese play, y'all don't go for like hard edge reads, like hard edge trapping reads. You prefer like option coverage. But if that's the case, you should be doing things like uh, short hop fair for option coverage as Pico, and like as they're grabbing the ledge, you can shoot a T jolt, right? Like, at, like, right before they grab the ledge, you can go with the jump thunder jolt, so they grab the ledge, and the T-jolt's, like, coming. Uh, it'll force them off the ledge, and you can do forward air. Like, that's going to be the best, probably, uh, ledge trap flowchart. Yeah. But I love, like, the more passive fares, too. Like, you're losing at the moment, but, like, that doesn't mean some of the things you're, do you're doing aren't good, if that makes sense. Dead? Oh, no, it wasn't purple. Yeah. Yeah, that's just, it's rough. Yeah, like, just go- sometimes you just gotta go off stage. I mean, I guess you can also edge trap Olimar, but you're not doing the edge traps. Like, you're not doing the- the fares, the T-jolts and stuff like that. Like, he's playing very solid, and it's- it's similar- it's more similar- oh. Pombo Kuti? Finally? So I think you could've actually got a Nair here, like a landing Nair. I think it would've hit, but you fast fell. I'm pretty sure you just could've got, like, Nair into grab or Nair into up tilt or something. You went for fast fall up tilt, which is like fine. It's just I think the Nair would have hit at that percent. But yeah, just like watching the other Japanese Pikachu's as well. I haven't really watched um, Etsuji very much since he picked up Pika. Wait, was it Etsuji or was it Edge? I forget who it is. Um, one of them picked up Pika, but I haven't really watched it too much. And then obviously uh, Kishidu and Kisa play more solid. Uh, as in terms of just like they play a very like I'm just going to use the good moves, which sometimes you use the good moves and it's good, right? But uh, sometimes you also just gotta go for explosive stuff when you play Pika, because like that's the scary part of Pika. Pika is very good to not get hit and all those things, but also if you hit him at 40 and they die, that's also scary. Or like you know the super aggressive type. Like sometimes you can just go for run up back airs and just hope and like it's hard to punish because then you can land behind them with minus 12 because you just did the fast fall. Also, you, you're not using T jolt nearly enough. That's like a big thing. You're not using Thunder Jolt to approach and like it, it can kill the Pikmin. Oh, that sucks. It can kill the Pikmin. That also sucks. Yeah, that's just a town thing. Like, that's a town and Smashville thing. If you're just, it's just a weird part of the stage. That's not your fault. Well, I mean, technically it's your fault, but it's not really your fault. But T Jolt is so good for killing the Pikmin and for letting like, letting things start, because if they're not like just side being, in terms of the Olimar matchup, you can T Jolt and like run up and get your grab or your roll read or whatever, right? Uh, and then if they throw a Pikmin on you and you don't like it, you can just probably just up tilt it. You just have to know which way you have to face for up tilt. Which I guess just go into training mode and test that. Because I forget the rule, it I just makes sense when I see it. And yeah, that's one of the reasons, like, this fair, like, I know when I played the buzz, a lot of people critique me for going on, uh, on stage with quick attack so much. And it's just like, y'all don't understand what it feels like to just have to get hit by this lingering down air. Granted, there is that two frame up B and Abadongo, I will link you that video and I'll put it in the card up above. I don't know where up above is right now, but uh, to watch that, cause I did a video on it, I'm pretty sure. So that would help a lot, but it's also very particular. I don't even do it super often, but it's something I'm like, I need to learn before offline, like really starts going again. Cause like in the Ulmer matchup, it's really just like, you have to get your hit, you have to get your edge guards or edge traps. Like you, you hit them to the corner with however much damage you want to do, and then just trap them at the corner or edge guard them. Cause like down throw down air at the edge works, down throw upper upper forward air works. Uh, just edge trapping can get so much damage and you have to like keep Olimar in disadvantage, which is hard because sword Pikmin, but like it's so important. And like, again, I understand if people want to say this is a losing matchup for Pika, I think that's fair. Back air is huge in this matchup. Because back air is much better for like carrying off than forward air, so I want to see if you use back air more in neutral. Also, something you also haven't really been doing, and I noticed that against Shuton as well, uh, ledge hop up B. Like, yes, it's punishable, but it's also so broken, and it is why Pikachu's so good at getting off the ledge, just quick attack. It's so hard. That combo was weird. 
I would have gone for a raw up air there, probably, or just up air, up air fair, but like, they wouldn't have comboed, so they would have, like, you could have gone up air, up air, and then they would have air dodged, and maybe you got more off of that. Uh, but I probably would have gone for a raw up air, back air, or something. Down throw instead of back throw? Interesting. And yeah, so for these as well, I know you asked me this question in DMs. If someone's SDIing up, you just have to fast fall later. Because you're fat, like, the thing is, I know where the third hitbox comes out, right? So it's one, they're SDIing up, two, they're SDIing up, and then the third hitbox comes out about here ish. No, it's this. It's literally right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So you can just fast fall later and still fall. Unless they're a very thin character, you should still be able to uh, get the Nair loop. Granted, you're getting it, but like, if you fast fall a little later, you'll still get the third hit. There we go, quick attack. T jolts, let's go! Yeah, you gotta be careful of that though. Uh, in this matchup, honestly, Ram Ram's not super good for, for Min Min because it doesn't beat T jolt, whereas the other two do. Back air? Oh. Because Min Min's recovery is so bad, you, in my opinion, should be going for things to hit her off stage. And again, at worst case, edge trap her. Like, this is good. Don't get me wrong. Air dodge read? Ah, oh, okay. Also, I personally really don't like Pokemon Stadium, but I don't know if that's a me thing or a Pikachu thing, so. He went off. Oh, yeah, you got a fast fall there a little bit. Nice near down smash. Finally getting one. Yeah, T Jolt. Yes, forward air. No, it dropped out. That's why you do the fast fall as well. It helps. But, like, overall, I'd say you're playing this very good right now. Also, at higher percents like that, when you know up throw is not going to kill, you should either be going for a down throw because they might just DI in and you get the thunder, or just back throw and do the edge trap because this up throw doesn't really do anything. Technically, you can get, like, up air kill. But it's less likely than getting an edge guard kill or them DIing poorly for up throw thunder or down throw thunder. I mean, you got the kill, so. That put into tumble already? Oh, that should have been a nair. At lower percents, fair uh, up air doesn't have enough uh, hits done to f get the fair, but you can nair. That's like the only thing you have to look out for on their recovery is like the megawatt smash. Nice thunder, yes. Yes, beautiful. This is dead, that's free, yes. Thunder is so good once you start conditioning your opponent that it's okay to jump. Also that jump of yours to trick them into jumping, to trick Proto into jumping was so good. That was so good, perfect. Yeah, scary. Also, you don't really go for grabs. Grab is broken at low percent. Instead of going for, like, all these dash attacks, I mean, they're working, so I'm, I shouldn't be critiquing it, but, like, sometimes going for uh, dash grab is so good, and it's, it's, worth, it's worth the risk, in my opinion. Because, like, grab is obviously so much percent. And, you're, and, of course, then it makes people not shield or jump, so I think it helps. What a down tilt by Proto. Okay, that was godlike. Like, that wasn't your fault. <laughs> I also would have got hit by everything here. I don't think I would have air dodged towards stage. Yeah, like as Pikachu, you don't ever have to air dodge towards stage. Hey, look, my name is here in chat. You can't see it, but um, you never have to air dodge towards stage. You can just always just like neutral air dodge and like drift away. Obviously, Min Min can cover that because it's Min Min, but uh, just neutral air dodging or fast fall air dodging off stage is honestly the play because that way you're just off stage, which is fine. Like if you get two framed, you get two framed, obviously, but it's better than in my opinion getting like air dodge red, even though your name is real surface. Here's the grab, upper bridge, uh, down throw downer, that's fine. Look at all the damage. Dead. 100% dead. Yeah, good shit. That was a great edge guard. Love the quick attack, grab, yes. I love that. Like, this is still good damage, and this is what I would have done before upper bridges, because here they're dead. Mimin actually died, like, is dead. At 53, under platform, like, literally 100% dead, and I will show you. Like, dead. Like, 100% dead. So yeah, they should have died here. Which, this is still fine damage. Like, this is still good. I'm not, like, really complaining. But it's just, I know you can do better. Because that's, you know, the first stock at 13%. And because I know who wins the set, it's sad. Oh, that sucks. If you hit the, uh, if you grab the ledge, if you, you maybe you should have, like, when you do this up air, maybe, like, fast fall. Because if, if you grabbed the ledge with this quick attack, it actually would have comboed into back air and you would have killed. 
Hey, there's a forward smash. Back air? Okay, well, not the back air I expected, but... I think in a... I think you can always punish dash attack with quick attack. Let me see. If you notice that uh, Min Min dash attacks you. Minus 23, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can always quick attack that. Oh, see? Mm, what would I have done here? I think in this situation, I probably would have forward air just because forward is super good, but I also probably would have missed. Oh! Also, I don't know if it's the best versus Min Min, but sometimes doing really high skull bashes is super good. Uh, I don't think it would have worked versus Min Min because it's Min Min. But yeah, I guess just gotta be careful of doing this T Jolt. Because Dragon Laser. But that's like a very matchup specific thing. And I think now you know. Oh, Beautiful Thunder! I love doing that! That's so tasty, yes. So you're using more Teagles now. If you use this many Teagles when you're playing the Olimar, it'll help. That's a lot of damage. Let's jump. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes this just happens. And that's why you need to start doing, um, whatchamacallit out of shield, or like, ledge. Oh, see, there we go. You, you did the delayed fastball there. Um, if you do quick attack from ledge, it sometimes helps alleviate that, because people have to swing way early. Good downer choice. Grab, down throw, narrow on plat. Oh, there you go for upper bridges. <laughs> Upper bridges are a little harder when you have rage, in terms of, at the very least, like, thinking, like, this type of down throw that you did would have started upper bridging maybe at, like, 30 or 25, because the amount of rage you had. At 50, it definitely will not work when you have rage. He's just hitting all the details. It's not your fault. Yeah, that's just guaranteed punish. But, like, again, I like the concept. You were maybe just a little, a tiny bit slow. Ew. So in these situations, I would just DI up, because uh, again, Pikachu can typically jump, and DIing up is typically correct as Pika, because you don't want to get put into a tech chase situation. Was this a two frame? Oh my god, it was a two frame. Ew. That sucks. Well, that's not really your fault. Yeah, here you just, you gotta go to platform. One of the best things about town for Pika is you can always retreat to the top platform. Although I think you had, you meant to go up there and just didn't. That was really good by Proto. This is just really good by Proto. Yeah, see, you're, you're both nairing too early and also you're fast falling too early if you know they're SDIing up. Because the thing is, if you know they're SDIing up, you can always do covering SDI up because people generally don't mix up their SDI because... Well, granted, SDIing other directions is bad, so you can just notice up versus not up. Down told? Yeah, beautiful. Nice thunder! Oh, it sent the wrong way. That sucks. That was really good, though. If you did it a little earlier, probably would have sent to the left. Yeah, again, you're jumping out a little too early. Honestly, uh, for your edge guards, I think just a general rule for you is just hesitate a little. Oh my god, you went for forward smash! Hesitate just a little longer when it comes to you wanting to jump out there. Because I feel like that's been, like, an issue. It's just you're doing it a little too early, and it sucks, because it's hard to know, you know? Also, you can jump out backwards. Back air is so good. And it lingers more than forward air. And no jump. Dash attack, yeah. I agree. Forward air, beautiful, dead. Yeah, I respect how late you how late you upbeat. I think that was supposed to be back here. Up. Uh, oh, nice! You got it. In my head, I was literally thinking this is a really hard uh, nair drag down to get. You, yeah, you tried to bait the up smash. I like the air dodge there. Grab up throw. What? Why up throw? You should always go for down throw, basically. Cause like, even if you get down throw fair, or down throw like back air if they DI in, or down throw up air thunder, which is of course really good. Oh, that was great, you're dead. That's fuck. You lived? And there you could have actually got a punish. So if you did uh, up forward and then down forward, you could have got them with the quick attack and then like up tilt, read the air dodge, something something. Back air, yes. Nice T-Jolt. Oh, see, at this point, you gotta, like, in my opinion, after this second T-Jolt, it either, it either misses because they reel into the ledge, and it missed. 
in which case you start edge trapping, or you just run, you just dash to the ledge. Because if they, if, if they end up grabbing the ledge after you dash, then you're fine. But in other situations, you'd be able to run off back air there and get the same thing. I think Gigil's really good. You just have to be careful you're not going to get hit by Dragon or Megawatt for throwing it out. Back air again. Forward air on plat. That was really good by Proto. I would have got hit by the exact same thing. Also, you can do fair drag down into down tilt if it's going to hit, and then you get put into the tech chase situation. Which is great, obviously, because then you can get... You can reaction down smash, or... If, of course, jab lock. If they miss the tech. Oh, you didn't roll through? That sucks. I thought you rolled through, too. But yeah, literally this entire set would have changed if you got the up air bridge. First stock, game two. Like, you would have been up so much. And then Min, Min has to, like, approach, and then you can get, like, back air. It's it's hard. And now you versus Ken. So you're versus Ken. So this matchup, you're already, you're doing it incorrect. This is a Thunder Jolt matchup. This is a matchup where you just Thunder Jolt. Like, Thunder Jolt controls everything. It's so hard to, like, hit Sonic out of his spins if you don't have something that is forcing the Sonic to use options. And I feel like this is going to be a continued pattern throughout the games. So you just need to Thunder Jolt. Like, Thunder Jolt is your best friend in this matchup, 100%. That's all I do when I play Sonic, is Thunder Jolt. And then you guess, like, when they're gonna jump over it, you just guess if you're gonna up air, or you're gonna whatever. Yeah, that's just a bitch. That sucks. Honestly, sometimes I just quick attack away, because it'll probably miss. But yeah, Thunder Jolt. Like, if he's doing these, like, spin charges, like, there's no reason not to just dash back and either do nothing like this, or T-Jolt. Also, doing something like, um, Ledge Hop Nair is pretty good, although it can't get back aired by Sonic, of course, but, like, it's just a good quick option as well. If you feel like you want more protection after your Ledge Hop. Oh, nice drag down. That was so good. Beautiful! That was wonderful. That was, like, exactly the combo I would have done. Nice advantage. This is so good. And then you, yeah, you just have to be like, okay, I'm done. Like, you just have to let go. And then, I love doing that Nair, too. It's just not good. I love it. I do it so often against Sonic, and I get hit for it, like, every time. Yep, great for it. See, that's why you use the T-Jolt. That's why you use the Thunder Jolt. Do you understand? It helps you get these openings. All the time. Or nothing. Nice dash attack. Didn't get the kill. And Thunder? Thunder's also very good sometimes when Sonic is, uh, up being high, because... Obviously, it creates a layer of mix-up, and then if they air dodge early, you can, like, up air them or forward air them. That could have been a forward air, actually. Forward air is really, really good, because it's slightly disjointed, so it's actually very good versus the spins. So in this situation, doing forward air, you probably would have actually hit him. Yeah, like, in these awkward neutral situations, like, jump back Thunder Jolt is just so good. I thought you wanted to go for a down air there, I could feel it. Oh no! Yeah, you gotta be careful with those with the uppy back airs and stuff. Like the first, the first thunder jolt was fine, but the second one, you should have been ready and got like a grab because that could have been a lot more damage. See, like even if you go like those back and forth smiley face type situations, like it's still better than trying to force. Does that work? Trying to force the situation without thunder jolt. Back there, dead. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to do uh, the down airs on Sonic, and by sometimes I mean it's very hard to do the down airs on Sonic, but I respect you for trying. I would honestly just edge trap. I think edge trapping is much better against Sonic than edge guarding, like as a rule. Oh, did you get the fair drag down off of immediate short hop fair? That was so good. That's so good. I don't even do that enough. Dead? Oh, you could have done it. That was 100% death. Never mind. Doesn't work. I think you go back to town. Or you go smash hole. This is actually fine. This is super good. Honestly, most Sonics ban this versus me. Oh, that went that way. I thought it was gonna go backwards too. Ooh, the early percent ledge trump. Beautiful. Yeah, I tried to downer. Good hold down by Ken, honestly. Oh yeah. Sometimes jumping feels so bad in this matchup in disadvantage, and you just get hit. Like that's why honestly a lot of the times, if I'm like in an awkward situation, like I just I just hold away, and I just go let myself go to ledge, and if they two-frame me, they two-frame me. 
Right, Ken's very good at it, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Should just do down tilt dash tag. Nice back air, no double jump. Nice. Now they're gonna up here early, wait for the air dodge. Yeah, you gotta wait even longer. Cause like, there's nothing to, th to worry about here. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a later air dodge. Like, nine times out of ten. Maybe even, maybe even more than nine times out of ten. So you just gotta wait for the down air. You're like, you just have to wait for the air dodge. You almost died. And I think Jabby can dash up smash. Or Sonic. Yeah, minus 26. That's drop shield up smash. That's drop shield dash up smash every time. And I don't know if 104 would have killed, but... Dead. Oh, wow. Yeah, actually, Remember to SDI down and in. Or is it down? I think it's down and away on the down B. A lot of times you don't get hit by the final hit. And yeah, you're fishing because it's scary as hell. Like, playing against Sonic without the lead is a pain in the ass. You at least have to be even stocks, because then you can just start T-jolting. Like, that's one of the biggest things, is you're just not using enough Thunder Jolt. Thunder Jolt is so important against Sonic. And like, I know you got punished for it a couple times, but that's because you were doing it incorrectly. It doesn't mean Thunder Jolt's bad, if that makes sense. Because, like, what's the negative of going all the way to the ledge and doing Thunder Jolt? If they run up and shield, then you have the mix-up, even if they take the space. And that was just really good back in. <laughs> Yeah, it's period and comma is how you go by frame by frame. And yeah, now you're down a stock. This is hard. This you need to like, but again, this is for T-Jolt aggression. You need to like Thunder Jolt and run in. It's not just like, I'm going to run in with nothing, because how are you going to ever get a hit on Sonic without something to accompany you? Like, that's why the matchup is good for Pika, is because you have Thunder Jolt. And so you are literally ignoring the reason that Pikachu wins. Dead? That was a really good up smash by Ken, actually. Beautiful thunder! That was so good. Again, you did another, you did the full hop bait that you did against Proto. That was super good. Nice. See, like, Pikachu's aggression is so good when you get it started. That was a really good one. Yeah, that was good. Um, but the Thunder Jolt allows you to get those moments so much more frequently. Or at least it gets you to see whether or not you can get the openings, if that makes sense. And yeah, like, one thing you can do, because Pikachu's tail is disjointed, you can get under Sonic and up air, but it is very, very, very scary, and if you're wrong, you take a lot of damage, so I understand not wanting to, but, like, up tilt and up air are very good anti-airs. That run-up jab was so good. I want to play Ken. Because Ken obliterated me every time he played in Smash 4, and I would love to not play a 65-35 matchup out of my favor against him. See, Thunder Jolt's for Ice Trapping is so good. Yeah, you could have gone a little earlier. Because, like, you know they have to go jump. So, like, you should be running off here and then going, like, double jump down air and, like, waiting. Doing it from there is kind of silly. Like, you should have gone off stage earlier because they had no other option. Yeah, like, I think going to center plot's fine. And then, but in this, yeah, in that situation, you should be, once he goes past you, you should be just, like, jump Thunder Jolting the other way. Beautiful. Oh. See, in those situations, you can't go for forward air. It doesn't have enough hits done, as I mentioned earlier. You have to do uh, Nair. And then Nair can get the drag down, obviously, on stage, which is very good. Landing Nair. Yes, perfect. At this percent, I'm pretty sure you could have got uh, down throw up air thunder on DIN. Let me just check for you. Yeah, but that's so important. Cause like that just kills and it's really really good and it's something i just need to like get back into practicing but yeah it's, it's a really important mix up for or not a mix up it's a really important combo at mid high percents like mid like the higher end of middle percents uh on the in it's so good I'm, i don't i don't get it see going for the forward smashes i like it i mean you're not getting you're not hitting it but like at the same time that makes ledge trapping but that makes the offstage situation so scary for the opponents. Beautiful air dodge read. Oh, maybe a thunder there? Nice, fair F tilt. Forward air. Ah, oh, you could have got it maybe. Oh, get it there.
And again, especially when you're winning, T-Jolt's so good. They have to force their way into it, and you're not using it for approaches, you're just using it to stuff them out. And then if they overcommit, then you hit them and get some tons of damage. It's so good. Nice dash attack. Beautiful forwarder. Second one. Yes! Look at that damage. <gasps> oh, wait. Do you win this game? No! This was game! This was 100% game! No! That sucks! You started it a little early. Again. Oh, dude, that sucks. That, that, that upper was so good. Yeah, you need, you need to go lower and then double jump later for that that downer. That sucks that you lose this. Damn. You literally had game. That sucks. It sucks that you only got one hit there. Yeah, I agree with the dash attack, even if you were wrong. Are you dead here? Yeah, you're dead there. That sucks. Again, sometimes just drifting away, like if you just hold away, is super fine versus Sonic, because he has to hella commit, uh, but he's probably going to be wrong. But again, overall, you played that game much better. I mean, you had the spikes, so you literally had the game. But again, more Thunder Jolts. Thunder Jolts help the situation, help your aggression so, so much. Trust me, it's so good. And that's going to be it. Again, if, if it was annoying that I was speaking in terms of you because I'm trying to help Abadongo specifically, uh, I apologize. Generally, it won't happen, but Abadongo, like, I offered Abadongo advice, so I wanted to speak it, like, to him and not about Pikachu, so I, yeah, that's basically why I did that. If you have any other players you want me to analyze, let me know. I have a video of Cola coming up. Uh, I think there was one more from Georgia. I just don't remember who it was. I think it might have been Fatality. Uh, but for sure, Cola, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Pikachu busted.